You guys want to play the game? I don't think you guys want to be... I don't think you want to see me play. We can go back to Earstream. <laughs> we can go back to Earstream now. Yes. Yeah, we're going to play some games. I want to build a few decks for fun. Yes, please. We need YouTube content. <laughs> All right. The editors have spoken. They need content for YouTube. They're they're running dry. I'll do that. I'll, uh, I'll play some games for them. Only for you guys. All right, listen here. Since Shermy is here... Shermy, give me an idea for a deck. I need your help, Shermy. Give me this ridiculous idea never before heard that you think is impossible to build. And I will show you with all my might that I can build anything. Too much pressure? No, no, no. The pressure is on me. I can build anything, Shermy. Come on, give me, give me a challenge. Something that you think is never going to work. I don't want a good deck. I want something you think would never work. Something impossible to make. I need something that you think is impossible. What is impossible in this game, Shermy? You don't know? Yes, you do. Think about it. it. Think about something a viewer could tell you to make that you're like, nope, not doing it because it's not possible. There's no way to do it. Undying Lux. Got it! Going for it, boys. Undying Lux. What makes Undying strong with Lux? Let's figure it out. First of all, I want to tell you guys that the fact that she picked Lux, Demacia is a very good pair for Undying. A very good pair for Undying. Lux, on her own, really wants to play 6 mana cost spells, which means let's have a look at what we can do well with 6 mana exactly for both Undying and Lux. Back-to-back -back Atrocity. You know what? This deck requires Atrocity just because she's Mogwai's girlfriend. She has to see it, chat. <laughs> There's no way not to play triple Atrocity in this deck, I'm sorry. This is Mogwai's girlfriend, she needs to learn the ways of the Atrocity. Remembrance is pretty good. All right. Looking spicy so far. So far, so good. Vengeance is really good with her. As well, with Lux. Judgment could be really cool. As a one-of, because Undying tends to get really strong really fast. Ladrus definitely fits a, in a deck that has triple atrocity. I'm going to put all three Ruinations, chat. Tiana. You're, you're a genius, Shermy. You're a genius. We're going to make the world's weirdest deck, chat. This deck is going to be so weird. No one's ready for this. Now, in order for this to work, this is the most scuffed deck I've ever seen in my life. I need to have ways to find my Undyings. How do I tutor Undying into my deck? I don't, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to tutor Undying into my deck. All right. This is it. Shermy, here we go. Prepare to be amazed by this greatest deck ever conceived on my stream. Hecarim Freljord? Is this an aggro deck? I feel like you have to keep withering for this matchup. Not a bad hand, actually. Because mana 6, when he plays Hecarim, I just Ruination for free. And he's he attacks on mana 6, means he's playing Hecarim before attacking. No, my hand's good, chat! I got a 3-drop! Chill! Chill, chat! Imagine not believing! Give me the value! That's why this card is here. That's why we have this card. It's so good. I'll be honest here, I'm afraid of ramp. I'm not even kidding. I'm afraid he might have ramp here. I think burning his three mana versus a ramp is really strong. This might be a really weird ramp deck. Those are visitors! Give me value! Yo, Pedro, do think that five months to support my man! Five months supporting this stream, my buddy. I appreciate that. I'm never playing Ruination next turn. Because I have two really decent units on board. And if he plays Hecarim, I can block plus Vile Feast to kill the Hecarim, right? 
Oh, I can just play um Lux as well. That's a decent play. Like Lux is a good Hecarim blocker. And I can just open attack with everything. Lux is really good here. He might have Vile Feast. He doesn't have Vile Feast. Wow. Okay, let's think about this. We got seven mana. He has to play something. He can't take eight damage to face. I don't think we have Atrocity here, honestly. I think Atrocity is a misplay. Granted that this deck can run healing. And he can run freeze for Atrocity. There's too many freezes that he can have to stop Atrocity. He's playing Freljord and he has 10 mana. Any freeze messes me up here. Now he might have Harsh Winds now. He's up to 4 HP. Um, okay. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of wipes. Lux is down to 1. Undying is getting buffed though, which is kind of nice. We can level her with this. If he plays Vile Feast, we open with this. Then he plays Vengeance on top of Vile Feast. We play Spirit Journey on her. Maybe. Do we though? I don't know. What if he Vengeance is her? No, yeah, the Vengeance will fizzle. Yeah, we're good. We're good. What will you have? It's fine. We've got a pretty good open attack. I still have to go for this. He would have had Vile Feast last turn. He would have used it when I was at zero mana. Unless he top decked the Vile Feast. I don't think he has a strong removal for this. So she leveled here. We'll level her up. We've got Final Spark. And we have um, Spirit Journey for the Undying. Brighter than before, indeed. If he doesn't attack with this, that literally means he wants to play another unit. It's fine. What does he want to play on top of all of this? I wonder. We're winning super hard here. What does that do? We have five, six Lux, right? What does this do, though? It's a two, two. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll just keep her alive with this. That means she's one mana off of uh, whatever you want to call it. Lethal on board. Give me the value! I demand the value! It's fine. We've got lethal here. I'm going to wait for his stuff. There's no reason to play it yet. Chad, there's no reason to play it yet. Now we go for it. Um, It's wrong to play it. I think. Because I'm killing Lux if I play it. Eh, screw it. I have a... I have, what do you call it? I got myself a harrowing for, for an attack. Got him, boys! <laughs> 
<laughs> Imagine thinking my deck winner win. Easy win. Easy win. Imagine doubting, chat. Imagine not being a believer, chat. Not believing in me. Wow. Grappler is so good. I bet he won't lose with this deck just like in every other video on his YouTube channel. I'm not, no, I'm not gonna quit. I'm not gonna quit. Quitting is for, for weaklings. I will not quit. I quit. All right, now we actually have a hand. I need stuff like Vile Feasts and, and cheaper removal. Oh, we're so good at this game. We're so good at this game, dude. Look at her hand. Look at her anti-aggro hand. It's amazing. Imagine thinking that's a good card when I have this to block him with. Thank you, Ward22, for the four months as well. Ramisha, we're almost at the one year mark. What do we say to that? Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Here we go! The gluttony! How does he kill this with that? I don't think he can kill it. Wait, can he? I don't think he can. You cannot touch this! Give me the value! <laughs> We're so good. We're so good. That's right! No one's ready for this. Come on. Come on, do it. Do it. You won't do it. You're too afraid to do it. Oh, please. Please. What? what? Main deck? Dark... I'm so confundido. I'm so confused, chat. I don't know what to think. Two mana heal for five. Atrocity. Hecarim. Oh, he's gonna level... I need to save this for Hecarim. Never mind. We're fine here. I could just block that, though, um, and use Glimpse here. I think this seems superior to me. I'm never going to single combat it. I want to draw when I can draw for free. Glimpse is really strong here. Okay, Undying is dead. Not that it matters, because you only, you only ever need one Undying in this deck, chat, for it to make sense. That's a great draw, and this is not bad either. He can't play Hecarim yet. Um, give me the value. Keep your That's right. That needs to die. One hundred percent of the time, that needs to die. There's no question. Wait, he, he didn't play Black Spear. If he had Black Spear, he would have played it. There's no way he has Black Spear here. I disallow it. Because he would have played it to kill this. He would have never passed there. Ever. Drop your Hecarim, and I have exact mana for this. We, we're, we're so good at this game, dude. We're, our level of goodness is by far unseen. Nothing. It matters not. It matters not to me. Pass. Show me the Hecarim. Come on. Show me the Hecarim. Passing. I don't care. Do it. There he is. Nice strike. Not today. <laughs> Not today, brother. It ain't your day. That's right. Thinking I'd play mana. Not a chance. <laughs> oh no, dude. This is, this is, this is, this is abuse. This is abuse of power. You came from my YouTube? Yo, what's up, Benji? How are you? 
Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful value, like I've never seen before. Beautiful. Now, there is a question mark here. Whether Lux is better than Chronic Lure to keep the Alligator alive. I think Lux is just simply better here. I'm going to play Lux. I think Lux is superior here. Because Chronic Lure is um, really good at uh, doing a lot of different things. Where's the beard? Missing in action. Ramisha, thank you for the gifted sub to our friend underscore meh. Appreciate you very much, Ramisha. Super kind of you. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Give me the value. Yeah, sure. Give me the value! I demand it! And say yo ho with the tier one sub, my friend. Thank you for the support. Out of my face! Greatest deck ever built. No. Got him! <laughs> oh, that's great. You're sure me. Are you impressed with my Lux Undying list? To Sawcon this year? I don't even know what Sawcon is. What is Sawcon? Come on, dudes! I can't know every single one of those!